Today we're going to do a review of an EIG Derringer and 22 long rifle. And that's coming up next year on Just CB Outdoors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. So what we're going to do today is, is we're going to do the review on this little 22 Derringer here. I actually like to thank my brother for loaning this to the channel. He picked this up used and then he gave it to me and he said, hey, do a video on it. What he wanted me to do was, is he wants me to clean this up and everything, make sure it functions for him. There is going to be a couple things I'm going to change for him on this, but this is the stock form of it. So we're going to do a review of it like this. And then I'll tell you a little bit later what I'm going to change on this. We're going to take it outside and shoot it. But first, let's go over to the table and I'll tell you a little bit about it. This EIG 22 LR Derringer it has a nickel finish. The barrel length on this is two and three quarter inches long, and you can see that it's made in Italy. And one of the biggest warnings they have in the manual on this is do not dry fire it. Now that I've gone over the features about this, which there's not many features, it's a Derringer, I'm gonna show you how to operate. The first thing you're gonna do is take this lever, move it all the way forward. That releases the barrels, and you're gonna flip the barrels up here. Now you can see the firing pins right there, and then we can actually look down the barrels right there. And what we're going to do is, is I got a couple of dummy rounds here. We're going to pop these dummy rounds in, and this is how you would work it. And then we're going to close those barrels back up here. And then we're going to move this all the way back and make sure it's up and locked on that. Now, what we're going to do is, is on this gun... If you're going to carry it, do not leave it in this position. This is an old gun and it does not have a transfer bar safety. So if you leave the hammer like that and you accidentally hit it, there's a chance you're going to hit one of those firing pins that's going to hit the rim and fire off one of those rounds. So just like you would on an old revolver, you want to take it to a half cock there and that's like a safety lever right there. So if you're going to carry this in your pocket, that's how you want to carry it with a hammer just like that. Now we're going to pull the hammer all the way back here, and I'm going to show you the sight picture. The sight picture, this is machined right into the barrel and the frame, just like it is on an old revolver. And you can see right there is your sight picture on it. Now they're both stainless. In here, looking through the camera, it's not bad. But outside, if it's a shiny day, you might have a little bit of issue of glare off that. We'll find out when we go outside, depending if it's sunny or cloudy out. Right now I'm filming this at night, the indoor part. But the reason why I wanted to put the hammer back for that, once again, it says don't dry fire. I got dummy rounds in it, but I'm still going to be careful and let that up. You cannot see the sight picture with the hammer up. You got to pull it down to be able to see that. Now that we got the hammer back, let's do the trigger pull on this. And I can tell you guys right now, this is a pocket gun. The trigger is very, very heavy on this. So I'm pulling, 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 snap. I bet you if I put my trigger gauge on this, it would just pull it all the way to the end. So I'm not even going to get it out to try it. It is a very heavy trigger pull, but you got to remember, this is a pocket gun. So that's like a safety feature on that. Now what you would do, since we fired the rounds, you would flip this back over here. That would open up your barrels. Flip this back around. And you can see we got a lever right here. This is your ejector. That will eject those rounds out, and then you drop it and put your new rounds in, and that's how this gun functions. And then you would make sure that the barrels are all the way down and lock it all the way back like that so the barrels can't move. Now we went over the features on this, and I showed you how it works. You can see here one thing that's wrong is the grips are cracked. We're going to fire it like this, but I can tell you right now, whoever had this before, they probably put that screw in way too tight, and that's what cracked them. So my brother did order another set of grips on this, and we'll do another video on that. But this is the way the gun would have came. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to take it outside right now, and we're going to fire it just like it is and test it out. Now what I'm going to do is, because this is an unknown gun, and it is very old, what I'm going to do is, is I got some CCI CBs, which are just 22 shorts. We're going to fire those first, and then we'll just do some federal bulk pack in it and check it out and see what we could do with firing it. Now we're outside and we're going to shoot this Derringer for the first time. 
first thing we're going to try is, is some of these cb22 shorts in it just to see if it functions and then i got a couple other 22s out here we'll try in it so let's go ahead and get started all right so we got the first rounds we're going to put through here and i have never shot a gun like this before i've never shot a derringer so we're going to put these 22 shorts in just to make sure they fire i figured that was a safe bet to go with these we'll flip this on over here lock up that cylinder locks up nice and tight now i'm out here at about 12 yards like i normally am i might have to move it up because this is a little pocket pistol so i don't know how accurate it's going to be but let's go ahead cock it back and try the first rounds through it now this is going to be difficult i'm going to go for the big silhouette here try to see how i'm going to hold this thing and let's go with the first shot here wherever it went i missed and you could tell that's a quiet it barely made any noise Ooh, it didn't go off that time let's go ahead and try it again nothing one more time nothing let's go ahead and try some other ones all right that little one right there had a strike on it we'll pull this other one out here this other one had a strike also so i'm going to put it back in and i'm going to turn it to see if that round goes off all right i put that one back in to see if it fires and then i put a fresh one in let's see how this goes aiming at the big silhouette no clue where these bullets are going that one fired get it all the way back here okay we hit it that time looks like it was just the round not the gun both of those fired let's try some more all right we got two more of the quiets in here i moved up a little bit closer because i'm not too sure where this is hitting let's try it again dead center on the big silhouette all right heard a tink and another tink all right it's working good Let's try one more round of the CBs and then we'll move to another one. All right, we got two more CBs in. I'm gonna try for a small plate and see if I can hit that sucker with this and we'll see how we do. Right now, I'd say I'm probably more at about seven, eight yards than what I was earlier. Missed it. Ah, oh, missed it both times. I do have two more of the CBs in the box and my OCD is kicking in, so we'll shoot those just so I have an even roll left in it. All right, this is going to be the last round here of the CBs. I'm going to go for the big silhouette target all the way on the left just to see what it does. I'm going to aim dead center. I aim dead center and it hit at about neck area, so it looks like it's shooting high. Oh, we had another round not go off. We'll try it again. There we go. It went that time just to make sure. All right, let's move on to the next ammo. Now the next ammo we got here, this is a baggie full of CCI somethings. I normally mark my bags and I don't know. I'm gonna say from looking at the bullets, I'm gonna say these are CCI quiet 22 LRs, but we'll find that out when we'll shoot it. So let's get a couple out of here and take some shots. All right, we got what I believe to be CCI quiets. We'll find out when we fire it, see how loud they are. Let's go ahead and try them out and see what we do. Big silhouette that's hanging on the frame. Well, those sound a little bit louder. Not sure if they're quiet or not. I do got some Federal Auto Match out here. We'll try those and we'll see. Oh, shot too high. That's one thing I noticed about it. It looks like it's shooting high even with these. Let's load it up again. All right, you saw in that last one that we're having a couple of misfires here. Not sure if that's a gun or not, but we'll go over that at the end. This is going to be the last round with the quiets here. So we're going to try these out and see how they work one more time. Big silhouette. Yep, I'm shooting high. I'm going to aim a little bit lower. Oh, missed again. I think we're going to have to clean this thing up. There it goes. It went that time. Now we're going to try some Federal Auto Match in it. All right, we got the Federal Auto Match. We'll see how this goes. Big silhouette to the left. Oh yeah, those other ones were CCI quiets because these are a lot louder. Let's see how this goes. Another misfire. Try it again. Nothing. 
went the second time. Makes me wonder if this thing just needs cleaned up. Like I said, my brother picked this up used and I'm testing it out to see what it's doing. And I'm gonna try to figure out what's going on with it if it isn't working right. Let's try it again. All right, let's see if it fires these two. Big silhouette once again, hanging on the frame. First one fires every time. Yep, I think there's something wrong. I don't know if it's not moving right. We'll have to get that figured out here, see if it goes off the second time. All right, I fired that time. Let's flip it open here. Looks like there's decent primer strikes on them. So let's go ahead and end this video out. So what's my overall opinion of the EIG little Derringer here in 22? I think it's a fun little gun. Like I said, he bought this on an auction. You never know what you're gonna get with a used gun. I do have some new grips coming for it, so we will put those on here. I'm gonna try to clean this up a little bit and we'll bring it back out once again and see how it fires. This isn't like a overall review on this gun because it was unknown. Nobody has any clue of the history on it. It does fire, but only when it wants to. It seems like the first round always does, and then the second one doesn't. So we're going to try to figure that out. So in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this cleaned up. We'll bring it back out here and try to see if we can get it fire right again. So as always, don't forget to check the links out down below. I got my link tree down there with all of the companies that I deal with. Some of them are affiliate accounts, and some of them got discount codes to save you guys money. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. We are One Nation Under God, and I'll see you all on the next one.